we are about almost about halfway back home it's just beautiful in here the birds are just singing you can hear the locusts well i call them locusts they're not locusts they're uh, cicadas so this must be a seven year for cicadas let me get some beer oh my wife i think just texted me Yep, about every seven years. Why is it only every seven years? They actually they're here every year. But for some reason they they're here on mass. About every seven years. It's weird. I hate it. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. You hit that notification icon to get a notification of my videos as soon as they're released. That way you don't miss any of them. <laughs> Noah and I had to stop and empty our shoes out. I don't know how the hell we did it. We got all kind of rocks and shit in our shoes, man. This is a pretty good hike. Um, if I had to guess distance, we probably walked a mile round trip. By the time we're done, it'll be about a mile. So this is the most I've walked since my second stroke. We left at 10 o'clock, wasn't it? And it's now going on one o'clock. So it's going on three hours we've been out. We didn't spend much time up there, neither. We, we went up, looked around, kind of dug around a little bit. Just enough to take some video of it. We're just now getting to the end of the road, and the way I can tell is houses. Civilization. Yeah, civilization. Although, you can actually hear the civilization even from way up there, but it's up the mountain. Um, I know this is stupid for recording this, but this was not busted when we walked up here earlier. This road was completely clear. And uh, it's busted now. It's weird, to say the least. No, it's a little grass. We saw the hedgehog up here. See that broke out? This was not here earlier. It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> uh, there's nothing that would break a tree over like that, except another human. That'd be about all I would think a human would. Yeah, I could see a human doing it just for joking, you know, just saying, oh, Bigfoot. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> Bigfoot. <clears throat> I am a believer of Bigfoot. I'll be first to admit that, but not here. This is way too in, it's too populated here. If you guys have seen any of my videos in the past where I've talked about it, uh, you know that is a topic that I believe in, and I am not alone in that. Um, I, <laughs> here we go, uh, I believe Bigfoot is just a lower human form, uh, ancient, um, and it is not a, uh, uh, whatever Pythica I, I see, guys, I can't. Gigantopithica. It's not that. That's more of a an orangutan looking and uh, walks more on four legs or you know uh, hands and feet. But yeah, I do believe in it. Um, I've been in areas in Pennsylvania where it's very remote, very mountainous, uh, where I've had some weird things happen that I can't explain. Can I say it was Bigfoot? No. Can't say it was Bigfoot, can't prove it. But it was very, very strange. <laughs> very strange. Actually, no, you were with us the one night you were just a kid. I, I doubt you remember it. You had your buddy with you that night. Yeah. The night we the tree got thrown? Yeah, Shay was there. Yeah. You and Shay were with us that night. We were it was, it was nighttime. We were walking in an area where we used to walk. And we stayed out a little later than normal. So uh, on the way back, it ended up getting dark. We were way above, um, way, we were probably a good half mile from the car yet. 
and uh, we heard some crackling like something heavy walking and then we heard a tremendous crash it sounded like something picked a tree up and threw it is what it sounded like scared the shit out of all of us <laughs> I just stepped in a mud puddle but um, to this day we have no idea what it was um, it what was it what it could have it been oh that's cool we'll see if you can catch one uh, my guess oops I'm sorry little buddy my guess is uh, 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 things other than Bigfoot, <laughs> which is most likely, um, a tree fell. Although it was weird because there was no wind, it was dead silent. Um, if it wouldn't have been for the what, like what we heard before that, got one. Awesome. See, too bad we didn't have something we could put him in. Um, put him in your pocket. Put him in your little snap pocket. He'll stay. I have stuff in there. Oh, what about your other side? Oh, okay. That's cool. He, he caught a baby toad. And he, Those we were, aren't hard to keep. I know, they'll eat anything. <laughs> they'll eat anything they can overtake. Well, next time we come out. When we come out tonight or tomorrow, we're going to bring a little jar with us. Something we can put them in. Um, again, the, the whole Bigfoot subject. Now that I'm on it, I think I'm going to make a different video on that. Uh... Again, I believe in them, and where we were at, uh, it, it's a it's a it's a pretty popular area to walk at. It wasn't back when we started walking, but now it is. A lot, a lot of people walk there. But when we started walking there, it wasn't that popular. Um, it was basically a logging road that just went out in the middle of an old, 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 probably 20, 30 year old area where they logged. Thin. There's a duck. Where they thinned out the uh, the wood, they didn't completely clear cut it, and uh, that's where we were walking. And when you walk up in deeper, uh, there's a little lake back in there. So I mean, it's just great. And there's nobody back there, no houses for miles. So um, it was just one of those experiences where you know what was it? What the hell was it? Uh, I know it wasn't human that did it. The most likely scenario was that a tree, a big giant dead tree decided to fall. Then and then there, another frog. I bet you'll see them the whole way out here. Um, my guess is just a tree decided to fall at that moment. But the thing that gets me is what was that movement we heard before the tree fell. Because it was big, whatever it was. It wasn't deer, it was huge. It could have been bear, I don't know. Anyways, that's my that's my Bigfoot, or uh, maybe a Bigfoot encounter. And yes, I believe in them. So I'll make this a separate video. You have anything to say? No. See you on the next one. So I thought I'd uh, just turn the camera back on and get some B-roll. And you can tell we're almost home because of all the houses. Now this, uh, this canal is owned by well, the same people that own, uh, that used to own, oh, no. What's that plant called now? It's not. No, but yeah, the one that owns Hammer Mill now. Yeah, it's, it's a big one. It's a big, big plant in this area. They have a plant in, uh, uh, just up the road from us, and then they have a plant right here in Lock Haven. They make uh, paper and plastic products. Um, they're known for making diapers, uh, oh, yeah. feminine products, stuff like that. Just has too much uh, wiggle. Rain. Yeah, it is a plant, isn't it? Yep. Oh, cool, you hear it. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't a very big one, but a train nonetheless. So we're close to the main road now. That was pretty freaky about that branch being busted out, because it wasn't there earlier. 
I have to look back on the footage. Civilization is a bird. No, that's a different bird. That's a, uh, uh the ones with the crest on their heads. Blue, they're either blue or red. Oh, hey, Mocking, um, uh, no, uh, Blue Jay? Yeah, Blue Jay. Or just a J. There's that bird that made that noise. Yep. So, most fish that you're going to find in here are going to be suckers and carp. But, there are bass, uh, there are muskie in here, and there are big snap turtles in here. <laughs> big ones. Huge snap turtles. Keep seeing the oh, Alright guys, I'm going to close it up. Battery's almost dead. And there it is. It's a crane. Yep. Okay, see you on the next one.